Welcome to our tutorial on the Adjust Point Cloud Color Tool in LiDAR 360. If you've worked with SLAM devices to colorize point clouds, you might have noticed unexpected color effects, like the treetops might be colored with blue or white from the sky, or similar colors might be incorrectly applied to other objects. Today we'll be working with data from a park scene captured by a handheld LiDAR device. Notice how the trees have some color errors? Let's see how to correct this step by step. Firstly, search for Adjust Point Cloud Color in the toolbox and open it. Switch the data to the right view and use the Selection tool to select the areas with color errors in the crown. Click Add Region to input this area. Next, use the Color Picker tool to choose the incorrect color and then select the target color. You can continuously pick colors. Then click Apply Changes to preview the modified result. Of course, there may be many different incorrect colors, so you can increase the color tolerance value to include more similar colors. Then select Add Regions and apply the changes. You can also directly choose the color as both the input and output color to complete the color correction. Additionally, you can classify the point cloud and select the class you want to modify. LiDAR 360's classification feature allows you to automatically classify 32 types of terrain object. For forestry data, for example, you can classify trunk and crown. When adjusting colors, you can select the trunk class. Simply select the entire area, set the color tolerance to 1, and any other color will be changed to the target color. Then, set the target color to brown and apply the changes. At this point, you will see that all the tree trunks are now brown. If you're not satisfied with the results, you can use the Undo or Redo functions to adjust them. Then click OK to save the changes to the point cloud. And there you have it. With this tool, you'll get cleaner, more accurate colors in your point clouds. No more mismatched hues on trees or objects.